Hi everyone and welcome back. So this is the part two of the Redis microservice implementation. In the first video, we just talked about uh, a simple overview, how these services are communicating with one another. Now what we are going to do is we are going to have a look on to the demo part. So this is what we are covering, the Redis and RabbitMQ. So Redis is PubSub model and here we are going to use Redis as a transport. So first thing is we need to install this module IO Redis and this is how we are going to create the NestJS microservice by specifying the transport Redis and host and port. Okay, so we are doing it. We already have a Redis container added. So you can see here the cache image and inside override file, I have added this Redis cache as another container. It's exposing 6379 port and we are going to talk to the Redis in the same way Redis transport implementation is at the gateway we are going to have another uh, instance another client proxy and that is for Redis so here you can see Redis service and we are passing the two options in the client proxy dot create the transport is uh, Redis and the options like the host and the port for the Redis service. I mean this is like the redis uh, server not service because we have we will be running a redis server somewhere on the host and port on the docker container that we need to specify same we need to specify at the microservice side so this is how we are creating an sgs redis auth service and main.ts this is how we are creating a simple lightweight redis microservice and most of these inter-service communication happens through two patterns either uh, you do a dot send or dot emit from the client proxy dot send means it's a synchronous so you will be adding a message pattern at the next.js microservice or you will be doing dot emit from the client proxy and then you will be handling that through uh, event uh, pattern because if you see if you look at the overview how we are communicating how the two services are communicating they are communicating in two different modes request response and fire and forget i mean this request is expecting a response so you will send a, you will ex, you will write message pattern and from the client proxy you call dot send method okay there can be another is a event based event pattern that means it's like fire and forget you might have sent a, a message uh, or event to a queue messaging queue and there is a next.js microservice listening to that particular event and will do some action business logic most of these microservices support both the type of communication either you can just do a dot send then you will be writing a message pattern and dot emit then you will be writing an event pattern at the receiver end so to, 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 here we are doing the same thing here this is how we are doing in our code multiple services ready service and we are creating the ready service by calling ready client service client proxy using client proxy dot create because there is a client and there is a nest.js microservice and client we are using creating using client proxy dot create and pass your service options which contains your transport and options which contains your host and port okay coming to the code because we have written that and we are going to look into the demo part so this is redis auth service what it contains is simple uh, nest.js microservice transport is redis and at the controller what we are doing is simply we are handling that through the message pattern because there will be a synchronous request coming from the client get user and on the get user you will do some action whatever and you will return the data so this is a message pattern there can be a event pattern for the same event pattern right so message pattern and event pattern these are two different mechanisms to handle the the request coming from the client proxy and then uh, you are doing some data and creating token and returning token at the gateway level we are just calling this service there is a separate controller i have created this controller is just uh, using the same redis service redis microservice instance for the client proxy and then it is just using uh the this dot auth service dot send i mean just a naming it's just about naming it could be a redis client so this dot redis client dot send 
here you can do dot send and dot emit both the options are available if you do a dot send that means you are sending this command to the message pattern at the receiver side i mean the receiver is a redis nest cs microservice so you are getting some response and this is an observable it can be observable stream or it's like a one time response coming from this observable so we can get first value from otherwise you will handle it as a observable observable stream you can subscribe to that and do get all the stream data which is coming from it's like a one time observable simple some data will be received we will just return it to the client right so what do i have i have a redis controller added in the app module redis controller same as the grpc controller and this redis controller is just talking uh, having access to this uh, redis client proxy instance and doing dot send method and sending this command get user okay so if we just run this it's very simplified service we are not doing much in this so i will directly go to the demo this is gateway and this is our redis auth service so it's up and running this is also good we will just go to this url and i will just do a simple ping to the redis endpoint okay it is just generate i'm just sending some not sending any data but it is just generating me the token and that is happening from the uh, nest js redis microservice you can see i send this event and this is my target microservice it is writing something to the database and just our checking this is just some console log but here it is writing something that means it is creating token because at that point we are writing something to the database source service token service you can see it is generating a token uh, it is returning the token and already so sort service controller here it is returning the token here i'm creating a token so this is how all these things are happening where is the controller it is returning all the data and then because it is returning the whole payload we are just render returning the data through the gateway service so inside a gateway you can see redis controller we are getting message and data so data is the whole thing we are getting here this is the whole data which is coming from redis microservice user data token id created and updated and this is like the response coming from the type rm save option right so this is like a simple implementation and now we understood how the com uh, service communication happens and when you build a event driven architecture or a microservice systems these nest js microservices can be helpful for the inter service communication because they supports both kind of communication sync and async async communications can be useful for the messaging queues let's say you when you are using rabbit mq or kafka transport in that case you can use this uh, uh, event uh, driven uh, messaging approach you will just do a emit from the client proxy and at the handler side you will be just using event pattern and do some action because it's all fire and forget at some point like in the tcp grpc and in this redis example we are using request response the message pattern and from the client proxy we are doing dot send so this is all about i put lot of effort in building these demos for you guys i hope you like it what you can do is you clone this repository extend these examples and use it for your own purpose these are like basic demos but providing a good enough approach how to build on top of these so thanks everyone and if you like uh, my content please hit like